Welcome to Joanne Sweet and Savory Creations. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you brought in the new year in the right way. Positivity. Please like and share my video and subscribe. I want to thank everyone that helped me reach my short-term goal of 100 subscribers. I have more than that now. I am eternally grateful. Let's get into this recipe. So, I have another appetizer uh, recipe. The other day, I did the taco bar. So, today, I'm going to do another one with ground beef, where you can use ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever kind of ground meat you like. This is quick. It's easy. It's in the crock pot, so it cooks itself. The only thing that you really have to really cook is the ground beef. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, it's called hamburger dip. And trust me, y'all, this is delicious. Like I said, I'm the party queen. Every time I have a party, uh, what do they say they want? Hamburger dip. So, and I, I'll tell them, look, you better get here before it get gone. So, I'm just going to go through my ingredients. Um, this is some of the nice and cheesy uh, uh, leftover cheese from Christmas that I'm using. And I had, I had probably a half a block of cheese left. So this is about a half a block of cheese. I just cut it up in cubes. You'll see what I'm going to do with it. Um, also, I have my mild um, salsa. If you want spicy, hey, you welcome to it. You know, I don't do spicy. And also, I got a little more of the Fiesta Milan cheese that I'm going to add in. And then just to add a little creaminess to the uh, dip, I'm going to add in some sour cream, about two dollops of tablespoons of sour cream. And my daughter got, we had the tortilla chips, but she got the scoops this time. And that's perfect too for the hamburger dip. So I have my meat over here browning and you just want to do it just like if uh you know just like you brown it so i'm going to add my seasoning which is a little garlic powder a little black pepper to season it just like normal i'm going to come back when it's time to place it and put this all together because it doesn't take long. So don't don't leave me, y'all. Stay stay close because it's gonna be quick. All right now. Okay, so my meat, as you see, is brown. You want to make sure that you drain your meat. You do not want grease in your dip. So it's very important that you drain your meat. So we're just gonna put. This is about two pounds, maybe of. Um, ground beef. Of course, if you are cooking for a bigger crowd, you would, of course, make more. So, I'm going to bring my items over here so that I can be closer and I'm going to bring my camera over. Excuse me. Okay, so this is how we're going to build this here. If I can get it, might have to hold it. Okay. So I have my cheese here, as you see. My crock pot is already on. I got it on high because I started late with this. So I want to make sure that. It gets hot fast, which it already is. So I'm just going to go ahead on and pour that in. Make sure you have a nice long hand spoon ready like this. Make sure you have a long spoon so you can stir 
got the cheese and everything in. Okay, so now I'm going to add the salsa. I'm trying to get this where you guys can see. I'm just going to bring it over here. I'm going to add in the salsa. I'm going to remind you again, you can get any kind. This is the chunky kind. You can get any kind you want. I need my hand, y'all. Let me see if I can get this where you can see. Might work. It's not gonna work guys <laughs> I'll be right back okay y'all I am back I have my salsa here you're gonna pour the whole container in the whole container make sure you get it all in there. and then I'm going to put in two nice dollops of sour cream and this is just to make it extra creamy just like I do with my my mac and cheese it's only a little bit left in here so I'm just gonna go ahead on and do three this recipe will be in the description box please comment on the recipe please try it out let me know if you try any of my recipes out I have some things up my sleeve for 2020 so I'm going to start challenging you guys to start liking my videos more, sharing them, getting me more subscribers. The one that I see that pursue the challenge more, just might be sending you a pie or a cake or some cookies or something. So let's get it. Let's go. So I got my cheese in and so i got my sour cream and i have my salsa so this recipe is pretty much only a few ingredients um super bowl like my cousin shout out to my cousin nini um she said this is a good recipe well the taco bar was a good thing for the uh, super bowl this one is too and by it being chris i mean not christmas by it being <laughs> New Year's Day. This is also another good quick appetizer to fix if you're having guests over. And it doesn't take long at all. And like I said, you pair it up with uh, these uh, chips like this or the tortito chips I had before. So it's very easy to make. It's not hard. It's not a brainer. It's not well, you're going to be sweating over the stove for hours and hours, like if you was cooking something like for Christmas, you know, the greens, the turkey, ham, and all of that. So it's something very quick. And as you see, it's helping that I had it already hot because it's melting down, but it's going to melt down even more. So I'm to that, I'm going to add some of my Fiesta cheese. I'm just going to put in a nice cup of it. This is about a cup and let that go in it as well. And then we're going to put a lid on this. I'm going to give this a stir before I put the lid on. Look at that. It looks good already. And my, my daughter don't like to be on camera, but I just want her to say one thing. Do everybody love my dip candies? Huh? Yes or no? I want to say, mm-hmm. Uh, she said it low, y'all. We can't hear that. But, yes, everybody loves this dip. As a matter of fact, last year during my annual uh, bake sale, I sold this at my job, and they loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. 
Okay, so I will be back when this is ready. It doesn't take long. You will probably let it cook about 30 minutes to 45 minutes on high. I got it on high. And then you'll let it, when it start melting down even more, then you turn it down a little bit and just let it just keep cooking and you will see the end result. All right, now I'll be back when this is ready. Okay, I am back and guess what? We have hamburger dip. Now this can go just probably like a few minutes more, but for the most part it's the cheese and everything is melted down. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to put this now you probably use a bigger i'm just using this as an example you probably can use a bigger platter or something a little more fancier if you are um you know doing uh having guests or whoever over you know this is just a little you know sample of how to you know do it so let me get my bowl over here first and I'm just going to look at that cheese, y'all. Look at that that Fiesta cheese. Oh my God. And I forgot to say, you do not have to use uh, that cheese that I use. Use any kind of cheese you want. But to me, I think it's I think that cheese is just as good as Belvita. I mean, it melts pretty good. Okay, so I'm not going to fill it all the way up. I'm going to let this keep going for a little few more minutes. But it's pretty much so. I know from now on that preheating the crock pot helps it to melt down quicker. So now... Here is the hamburger dip, y'all. Let me use a cleaner spoon here. Okay. Now, I just want you to see the goodness. Look at that. And it's a thick, and I already tasted it, but I will. Watch my, I'm sorry about my hand, y'all. I will. Uh, try this on camera for you again. I'm trying to make sure this is right. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So like I said, it's only a few ingredients. Ground beef, number one. Sour cream, number two. Cheese, like Velveeta, or the nice and nice and creamy, or whatever, nice and melt. <laughs> Your scoops or tortilla chips, number four. And then your sour cream. It's only a few ingredients. And your crock pot, of course. <laughs> so just going to put the chips around this real quick. Hopefully, the stand is giving me the blues today, y'all. It acts right when it want to act right. So, hopefully, it don't fall. Let me hear you. So, just imagine you having a bigger platter or whatever. And you just place the chips around the dip like this. It just makes it real pretty. You can also add some uh, green scallions around this like that on top of the, the, the meat. Ooh, one fell in. It must have wanted me to taste it. And with this, you don't need no spoon, y'all. That's why the scoops. 
Mm, 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 mm. I'm talking about good. Let me turn this around this way. And there you have it. I'm not going to put chips all the way around because, honey, it's about to get eaten. But there you have it. Brown beef turned into hamburger dip. Just with a few ingredients. If you like this uh, recipe, please comment below. If you'd like for me to do more recipes like this, comment below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'm Joanne Sweet and Sayer Creations. Bye-bye.